welcome to the second part of production order tutorial today we're going to learn about production order processing structure and elements of a production order navigation in the production order important screens and its contents so let us start with the business example you release the production order post goods issue confirm the order and finally post the goods received so basically i'll be showing you this full cycle in today's class that how the process how the uh, uh, production order will be processed in the sap system and you wish to know about the different screen and data stored in a production order transaction so processing flow of a production order now with regards to the production order a production order will be going through or may go through different phases okay so the important phase are the one that you can see in the in the blue and rest are just uh, like optional or the automatic processes so for example a production order will be starting with order request first you will create a order and then you will do the order confirmation availability check will be done if we have the enough stock then machine commitment will be done which is known as um, capacity planning then we release the order after releasing the order there are some more steps here material staging order printing and everything then you confirm the order so confirm order means we have done the processing of the order and then finally we'll do the goods shipped so once goods shipped is done that means the order has been finished for the production and then the stock will be added to our stock for the finished goods and finally you will from the finance people the costing people they will be doing the order settlement and variance calculation and costing and finally the data the the order may be archived or delayed but archiving deleting is a is other process so just ignore the archiving or delete step here for now because uh, this is something done like after so many years just to clean up the system for example a company will never delete a data never archive any data but they might do after 15 years or 20 years so for example any order created say 10 years before 20 years before they want to delete it because they don't want to see it anymore so in that case is so after many years they might delete so that's how it happens production order cycle so first we'll going we'll go through the production order cycle so basically in the production order cycle is what we do is first of all we'll create and release a production order okay first we need to create it if you already have the production order uh, then you can release it so you can create the production order via md04 which we have seen before and, and i'm going to show you again or you can create it via co01 transaction without any reference which is a manual production order co01 second step will post goods issue that means all the bomb items that we need to supply to create the bomb to create the production order will be supplying the goods issue so that means we're posting the goods issue uh, for the bomb components and third step will be confirm the production order so finally we'll see 15 will use to confirm the production order that means the production order processing has been completed that means system will understand that okay i received the goods now in my stock and finally uh, post goods received sorry the last step will be the post goods received so that means mb31 will use to receive the goods for the finished goods so let us see this one practically so here first step is as you know create production order so as i said you can create via co01 as a manual or you can use md04 to convert a production order so if I go to MD04, I already prepared one material that I used in one of the previous class. So I will be using this material. Um, okay, so here you can see because of some uh, uh, forecasting, we got some planned orders here. So here I can pick up any planned order and I can convert it to a production order. For example, you can see this planned order. That's the latest one with 90 quantity. So I can double click on the production or planned order and click on this button to convert it to the production order. I can click on it. Now 
it will copy all the data and it added nine pieces because nine is a scrap so total it will say i will create 99 pieces so that the 10 percent is scrap so nine pieces will be scrapped so ultimately will receive 90. so if you if i go back without saving if i refresh you can see here the required quantity is all, all only 90 but because system understand that we got the sorry let me go back this one this one plan order double click on it click on production order conversion and then 99 will add so the scrap is coming from the material master setup so here system will be proposing all the data like start date end date and all that from the planned order and so it's a old planned order so system is put picking up all the dates from that planned order and uh, I will talk about the different screen in a minute but um, before that I will show you the master data tab if you click on the master data tab here so here you can see the gr group so that's the routing system copied uh, to the planned order and from the planned order we copied it to the production order and this is the bomb you can double click on the bomb say for example it will take you to the bomb component so here you can see my finished good is MPS bomb and it is consuming ABS as a material so here I can write down just for information so my finished good is MPS bomb one for example that's a FG finished good and it's using bomb component ABC so ABC is, this is yours you can call it raw material or non finished goods anything so to create this one we need ABC as a com bomb component so I can go so that's the bomb and you can double click on grouping and it will take you to the routing as well so that's the routing so we can go back and go back go back to the production order screen again and go to the general tab again and here you just need to click on the save button on the top to create the production order so once I save it system is just showing me error that there are some costing related data error so just say no problem just say do you want to save you can say yes that's fine just ignore that so now if I refresh it you can say the plan order will be disappear will disappear from here and it will show you a production order here so keep an eye here the one that I selected I'm going to refresh it there you go so now it's showing you the production order that system just created so here you can double click on um, uh, this production order again and go to the chain mode and here you can it will show you the production order that you just created so that's the first step is in create the production order and I, as I said you can you do it via MD04 or I can open another session here or you can do it manually if you want so go to the logistics to find the CO01 or you can directly type shuffle control order order co01 with material and here you need to enter say mps underscore bomb one whatever your material number is enter and here you need to enter the quantity say the quantity is 90 and dates and everything so it will ask everything manually so i will cancel that and i will open my production order so first the production order is created then as a second step i can add another step uh, I'll say create and release Re you need to release the production order so here the status is saying, saying CRTD you can if you want to see the status you can see this one if you can't understand that you can click on this I information button it will show the status so status saying created pre costed and everything go back click on the release order button so now system so you can see the message at the bottom release or carried out now I can save it say yes done so we have done first step creation and release of the production order then we need to post goods issue that means what bomb component system is going to use we need to tell the system that we are going to consume it now because we have started the production so the second step will be Ports, post goods 